Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Hello to all my dear clients. Today I would like to talk to you about financial security. What is financial security? A few decades ago, we were faced with the emergence and the rapid escalation of new challenges in economics, finance and social spheres. We have seen how these difficulties are changing the economic life of entire continents. It's fair to say that today any aspect of human existence, starting from employment to minor details of every household, are closely linked with the financial system. Even if we compare the current situation to conditions in which our ancestors were, for example, grandparents, then we will see some very important distinctions. Back in those days, there were virtually no quick loan advertisement. People were not afraid that one single unpaid bill could destroy their credit history and credit rating. Today, if one doesn't have a good credit rating, the access to finances is either very expensive or impossible at all. By combining these two distinguishing features, a common pattern can be seen. The inability of people to manage their finances led to the massive emergence of non-banking services within serious interest rates that service those customers who have not been able to properly maintain their credit ratings. It is rather obvious that high interest rates that people are forced to pay create even more trouble ahead. The problem itself seems to be unsolved, looks like it's getting even worse. Here is the approximate description of the reality in which our company operates. All that we do for the last seven years is the search of how to expand economic opportunities, reduce financial instability and create wealth for our clients and their families. In 2011, we defined the main idea for our clients, explaining that the start of their own gold trading business is a safe route for the path to financial security. This experience has taught us that in most cases, our clients, and there are many people with relatively low income among them, can establish their businesses in a short period of time, up to six months, that will bring them substantial additional income. As soon as we understood that, we immediately realized our responsibility for these people. Trust me, our clients deserve success. Nevertheless, at the same time, we have been criticized for the fact that we advised people who had little to no money to start saving and accumulate savings. What this experiment has taught us, it has taught us that people with small income can accumulate their savings. It also taught us that hope has its price. It is the ability to accumulate savings. You know, one of our customers once said, when you get money, it's very easy to spend, but once you understand, that the money are needed for the future, you actually begin to accumulate them. Surely, the financial education plays a very important role. Every hour spent on financial education increases the average amount that we can defer monthly. This fact has been repeatedly tested and proven experimentally. If financial education is combined with financial goals of a human, who wants to accumulate one's wealth, the return on exerted efforts rises exponentially. Despite the fact that the traditional approach to increasing assets is the income generation, our experience and our research shows that income generation is not enough. Your assets are property, securities, gold, business ventures. All of it should supplement your income to help your family move up the economic ladder. The simple rule serves as a foundation for financial security. If people are given the correct model of thinking and doing, people will start to accumulate wealth and assets instead of wasting them. This will happen regardless of income level or their location. This is their path to creation and ownership of the asset. Besides that, our vast experience showed one particularly interesting thing. A significant improvement of family's well-being can occur when a whole range of services becomes available. A credit history restoration, a bank account opening, 
a debit credit card issuing for the convenience of payments, repayment of debts, access to other public financial services. Our experience shows that we should not only help people learn, we have to help them act accordingly. We have to ensure that doors of opportunities are open for our clients and people are going through those open doors. This is what we call the financial ability, which is derived from the term financial security, such as the ability to pay their monthly bills and securely manage their future. Eventually, we can say that our goal is to change people's behavior in such a way so that they can take advantage of financial opportunities and constantly improve their economic well-being. Such behavior inevitably leads to a reduction of barriers blocking their way to financial goals. Yet one should always remember that no matter how important financial security is, it's not the ultimate goal itself. Clearly, we strive to improve the financial situation for our clients, but it's the well-being of clients and their families that becomes the ultimate goal. Unfortunately, our world is arranged in a way that makes reaching the overall state of well-being impossible without achieving financial security first. From our experience, in order to be financially secure, a person must possess these four characteristics. Firstly, an ability to feel that he controls his finances. Secondly, an ability to endure financial shock. Thirdly, an ability to determine a financial goal. Fourthly, the possession of the financial freedom and an opportunity to choose. To give you an example of how things are within this field, I'll show you the data gathered by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau from the American Household Survey. More than one-third of American households has no emergency savings in case of unforeseen circumstances and almost 44% of households do not have sufficient financial reserves to survive three months without income. This is current situation in the USA we are talking about. Imagine what happens in less economically developed countries. Given such conditions, fear and depressions emerge. Nowadays, more people opt for antidepressants and legal drugs as a simple solution to their problems, without even thinking about eventual consequences. Each year, in the US alone, 100,000 to 200,000 people die from the prescribed antidepressants and legal drugs. This rate is much higher than lethal road accident rates. However, Americans don't seem to notice anything unusual about these figures. Every year they use even more drugs. Financial security refers to a particular state of mind, when you no longer care about your income, since it can cover all expenses. You have enough savings to cover unexpected expenses and pay the necessary outgoings for realization of your future plans. When you own financial security, your level of stress lowers down. It gives you freedom to focus on more important things that will lead you to success and prosperity. Interestingly enough, the moment a person acquires some basic knowledge of finances, he or she immediately begins to accumulate savings and then transfer them into real assets. For instance, gold purchases. Another fascinating moment is that a person quickly comes to understanding of the bigger picture, the true value of human capital. Clients themselves start to realize that their wealth is not hidden in distant overseas mines, it is right here, in front of them. Their wealth is people who surround them and with whom they communicate they start to realize that extracting gold is much easier and more effective using their minds rather than a gold panning kit. 
What do I mean by extracting gold using your mind? I mean that when our clients sell our gold, they receive considerable commission for each completed sale, and thus increase their personal income. In this game, everyone wins. In conclusion, I want to give you one simple and practical advice. Start accumulating your savings early. Just remember one golden rule. It's never too late to start accumulating savings. If you started accumulating savings at a young age, then your wealth-building goal might be easier to achieve. Just remember, it's never too late to start.